Louis' hunger for power and extravagance put him in the history books, but how did this lead to the downfall of France for the coming generations of kings? Louis XIV was born in 1638 and named Louis Judon, or translated to Louis the God-given, to parents Louis XIII and Anne of Austria. At only four years old, Louis became King of France after the death of his father, <laughs> Louis XIII. He was overseen by his mother, Queen Anne, as the Regent of France. Louis was crowned in 1654. In 1660, Louis married Maria Theresa of Spain, the daughter of the King of Spain. He had six children with her, but only one, Louis le Grand Dauphin, survived to adulthood. Throughout his marriage, he had multiple mistresses, both official and unofficial, having 13 known children. In 1661, following the death of Cardinal Mazarin, the Chief Minister, Louis took control of the government without a Chief Minister. He aimed to take the power away from the nobility of France and put the power into the monarchy. Louis said, Up to this moment I have been pleased to entrust the government of my affairs to the late Cardinal. It is now time that I govern them myself. You will assist me with your counsels when I ask for them. I request and order you to seal no orders except by my command. I order you not to sign anything, not even a passport, without my command, to render account to me personally each day and favour no one. In 1661, France was close to bankruptcy. So in 1665, Louis appointed Jean-Baptiste Colbert as the controller of general finances, but he first had to remove the current superintendent of finances, Nicolas Fouquet. He was charged with embezzlement, which was common among others in power. However, Louis didn't like his ambition or extravagance. Louis wanted absolute power for the monarchy, and this was one of the many moves to show his authority. Louis began to commission the renovation and building of Versailles in 1661 and continued until 1715 with several renovations in that time. It was previously a hunting lodge for Louis XIII, who then upgraded it to a small chateau in 1631 to 1634. Eventually, Versailles became a palace and is currently one of the top tourist attractions in the world. Versailles was an extravagance that drained the French treasury for decades. It was constructed by 30,000 men and costs included not only the building materials, but also river diversions, directing in fresh water and planting thousands of fruit trees to cover up any smell of sewage. The capital of France was moved to Versailles as another show of power in 1682. In 1667, following the death of Philip IV, King of Spain, father of his wife, Louis fought the War of Devolution to claim a portion of Spain's possessions. Louis claimed the Spanish Netherlands in place for the wedding gift that he didn't receive from Philip IV. This war lasted up to 1668. However, this deteriorated the relations between France and Holland as they had been fighting off Spain for generations and didn't want the same with France. This led to a war with the Netherlands from 1672 to 1678 where Louis almost took the Netherlands. The only thing that stopped him conquering Holland was the Dutch opening up their dikes to flood the countryside which stopped France advancing. Spain and Austria created an alliance with Holland which meant that neither side would have an ultimate victory. This only drained resources of both sides of the war. Later in his life, in 1685, Louis revoked the Treaty of Nantes which was a policy of freedom of religion in France allowing Protestants to live as equals. This was put in place before Louis was born in 1598 by his grandfather Henry IV of France. This led to 50,000 Protestants of France fleeing the country and seriously affecting the economy. In 1711 he lost his son Le Grand Dauphin and the year after his grandson Le Petit Dauphin which left his great-grandson as the heir to France at his death in 1715. He said to his heir, Do not follow the bad example which I have set you. I have often undertaken war too lightly and have sustained it for vanity. Do not imitate me, but be a peaceful prince, and may you apply yourself principally to the alleviation of the burdens of your subjects. Louis' desires had an ultimate cost that he realised on his deathbed. He left France heavily in debt as a result of spending on wars, Versailles and his damage to the economy by revoking the Treaty of Nantes. He left the monarchy in a strong position but in lots of debt. After his death, the following kings taxed the people heavily to repay the debt caused by Louis XIV. This eventually led, or at least contributed, to the French Revolution and the removal of the monarchy. Thank you for watching, goodbye.